You know, if I pass all the tests, I'm definitely going to California. I'm going to be a criminal lawyer. Of course, it all takes about 20 years. We'll be dead by then. And I believe in having a goal. That way you succeed. Actually, it's your trouble. You've no ambition. Ambition. <laughs> I'm on mute. What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back into Boy Blue Games. <laughs> and we're in the Motor City, Motor City, Detroit. This is iRacing, the IMSA Sport Car Championship at Bell Isle. We're gonna have a good time here in, uh, in the BMW. So wish me luck and uh, hopefully we have a good race today. So the race doesn't start for another five ish, five ish minutes. So what we'll do until then is just hop on the track and some practice laps and uh, you know get it reacquainted with the track and everything like that I did do a, a lot more practicing beforehand but I'm still not amazing and I'm still not perfect so that is why I need all the practice I can get so I'm gonna hop into the car and uh, I'll get the overlays and all that stuff up when we get into the actual session but we got about five minutes to practice and then it'll jump up it'll send us to the qualifying session so let's go ahead and kill the music for now we'll bring it back once uh, we go to our loading screen, so make sure you guys can hear everything. Let me know in the chat though if um, everything is sounding good on your end. It's good, real quick. Mic check, check one, two. Oh yeah, listen to that backfire. <laughs> That's beautiful. Love it. One thing I want to do though, uh, really quick. Hey, there's actually two things I want to do. First thing I want to do is change the setup to the racing setup, and then the second thing I want to do is I want to remove the mirror. Because in this car, uh, it doesn't have the overhead mirror. So we'll see if that is what I needed. Yes, sir. So the mirror is right there on the in the dashboard. Ferrari coming up behind us. Speed limit is 40. I think I just spit. No, we're good. What up, Tripix? Welcome back, bro. Good to see. Me take six clear. Push. It's gonna be really challenging. I don't know if I've streamed this track before. I might have done it in different series, but it's a very challenging track. It's extremely bumpy. Uh, you'll notice my hands going to work today. It's gonna be an arm workout. Ugh. Didn't put enough brake in. Either that or the brakes are too cold. <laughs> oh my god. I think my steering is jacked up right now. Car left. Left. There's Mercedes. So it's gonna be GT3 and GTE cars in this race. It's gonna be a lot of fun. As long as we can survive, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And sorry, give me that black flag on the top left, saying that I uh, I have too much damage. I need to pit and fix it. 
So we're actually going to go ahead and do that now. Do I like Mercedes? I do like Mercedes. We're not driving Mercedes, we're driving BMW. But I do like Mercedes. But you can see already, look how much, oof, look how much like the car is just bouncing around, man. It's this extremely bumpy road Activate course. Limiter. Locks in a five. All right, we'll fix that. Try it again. Yeah, it's a it's a, it's a street circuit, I guess you could say. You know, similar to like places like uh, uh, what's uh, uh, dang it, it's Bahrain. Bahrain has a street circuit. There's a car behind. Take care, uh, rejoin him. Monaco, obviously, the street circuit. So like, this is just in the U.S. Not as famous as those other Grand Prix. F1 does not come to this track. Speaking of F1, depending on how the week goes, I may do an F1 race in, in Brazil on Friday. Getting us ready for the Brazilian Grand Prix. Okay, Caleb, it's a faster class car approaching. So, not very forgiving track. If you go too wide, the wall is right there to welcome you. But I really do enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. It's really challenging, but I like the challenge. Extremely important for you to get your braking zones and be very sensitive on how much input you put into the throttle. Because with the car bouncing around so much, you know, it, your car just wants to spin out because it's constantly using that suspension. Ooh, don't want to do that. Yeah, because it's bouncing around so much, the car is just getting, you know, the suspension is all over the place and it's causing the car to lose traction. Tenth position. Yeah, right there is a big, big hill, big bump, and you want to be careful not to be full throttle on that bump in that turn or your car will spin right into the wall. So you see me again working the wheel quite a lot in this race. Again, want to get right up against that wall. And you don't want to just punch the throttle because that right there will happen. And it's super hard to save this car. I have not figured that out yet. And you may see me reaching up up here. It's kind of reaching for my microphone. Alright, we're just gonna we're just gonna reset. <laughs> but that's our practice. Uh, not a, not a good sign. Spun out on our, on our, during practice, so kept the car clean though, and we'll head out to the official race and make that happen. Qualifying session, and uh, hopefully we can keep it clean. I want to really turn things around, but we've been having a lot of really bad races on the stream lately. We had that one good race in uh, where was where were we at? Le Mans. Le Mans. We had a decent race in Le Mans. Um, but I want to have another good one. We don't have Kruger with us today. Uh, he may join us later this week, depending on his schedule. But we'll see. If uh, if he becomes available like tomorrow, we might do a second uh, road course race tomorrow. But planning on doing NASCAR, that is, uh, that is what the plan is. Hopefully you guys are having a good week so far. It is hump day. Had a killer workout this morning, man. It was, uh, it was tough. I don't know, it's funny, like, whenever you're in the middle of working out, you're just, like, really pushing yourself, and, like, you feel dead, you know? But when you finish, you're like, man, I made it, and that was a good workout, you know? And so that's kind of how I felt today. Like, when my wife was like, so how was the workout today? Because today's her rest day. And I was like, it was good. I don't really know how to feel about it. <laughs> there was, like, no rest. It was, like, a four to, five, four to five minute workout, no rest at all. And uh, it was a lot of a lot of cardio, a lot of jumping, stuff like that. But it was good, yeah. If you guys didn't know, I am maybe joining a new gym right now. I'm doing a free trial at a new gym, me and my wife. And uh, it's been pretty cool. It has like a coach and everything. 
It's not CrossFit, but it's uh, similar. Pretty similar. I've done CrossFit in the past, and I really enjoy CrossFit, actually. And I've, enjo I've been enjoying this, too. Definitely been pushing me. The coach has been real, real, real cool, real dope. He's been pushing me as well. And that's what I like. I like being in an environment where I can push myself and push my strength and abilities. All right, let's go get our, get our setup loaded here. And done. All right, beautiful. Make sure the car is loading like a shit. We don't really have a lot of time to do a practice anyway, so I'm not gonna worry about that. But we can roll out. Clear. Stay behind the wide line. Oh, right there. I can't imagine. I would love to play iRacing in VR. I would love it. I heard that whenever you wreck, people, you just want to throw up. <laughs> but I'm willing to take the risk. I am willing to take the risk. All right, check the flags out. It's gonna kick us out into qualifying. The track temperature's decreasing. It's now 73 Fahrenheit. There it is. Look at that beautiful BMW. Oh man, we almost got a little peek at it. Trap Geeks, what's up, man? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Hopefully you guys are having a good day. Staying positive today. I'm saying that now before the race, right? Once we get into the race and somebody pisses me off, I might not be so positive, but I'm gonna try. But I'm just gonna do my best to stay away from stupid people. You gotta, you really gotta <laughs> distance yourself from the stupid people. Let's get our JRT overlays up so you guys can uh, keep track of what's going on in the in the race for me. It's an uh, extremely physical track. Very physical. It's an arm workout. Again, you can see my arms going crazy on the wheel the whole way through. Why don't I drive a Mercedes? Because I don't want to. I don't even I don't even own the Mercedes. I have a BMW. So if you want to drive a Mercedes, that is all good. I ain't got nothing against Mercedes. I think Mercedes is a great car. You buy iRacing and you buy the Mercedes and you go race it. That's what I recommend. <laughs> but uh, anyways, uh, no DCS. This is definitely not DCS. Hey. Uh, let's see if this will load up for us. See if it's going to work. And then we will get in the car here in just a bit. And get rolling. Get moving. Make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Until then, let's play whatever this is. <laughs> Good morning, AVO man. Welcome back, man. How was work? Living the good life over there? Alright, why is this not working? Do, 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 do. You know what? I know what it is. There it is. There it is. That's what I wanted right there. I right, give you the track map. I don't want that ugly gray screen. Huh, maybe the track map is broken. Turn it off, which is very helpful for you guys to be aware of what is going on. Try again. What uh, what other type of job would you like to have? Just curious. I mean, I don't want to get all up in your business. You ain't got to tell everybody what you do. But like, I guess the better question is, what would your dream job be? What would your dream situation as far as jobs, jobs be? And uh, Trap Geeks, when will I play DCS? That is a great question. I'm taking it one day at a time here. I mean, I already plan to do racing this whole week. So that's the only thing I do have planned. But as far as when I'm going to play DCS again, hopefully soon. I really enjoy it. 
and I'm, I'm glad you guys have been enjoying the DCS videos too so I'll definitely be bringing it back uh, don't worry it'll be back I just don't know when maybe next week maybe the week after probably not next week but maybe all right track map's not working today guys I don't know why let me see if I can reload it I'm not planning on qualifying. I'm gonna skip qualifying because everybody's gonna wreck everybody, so there's no point in me putting in effort. So put a good lap time in, start on the front row, and then get wrecked by the second row. Happens way too often in iRacing, and I've decided not to pass this lap for Turner 124.45. Your retail until you reach 1500 hours. All right. I didn't know the retail business like went by hours, but cool. All right, I think you guys just won't have a track map today. It's all right, you guys are used to it anyways. I have it on my screen. I don't know why it's not translating. And you don't want to look at that ugly gray box. Maybe I should get on the track. Let's get on the track and see if it'll pop up. Yeah, listen to that BMW. Beamer. Oh, commercial pilot. I'm like, I've never heard somebody call a commercial pilot a retail pilot. I'm like, that just makes it sound less fun. A lot less fun. Like, yeah, I'm a retail pilot. I'm like, okay. That's not what I want to be when I grow up. All right, all right, I'm, I'm, I can't do the track map. It's not working today, so we'll leave it off. And how much time do we have? Two minutes. Let's go just get some uh, practice. I'm not going to really try to put an actual practice, I mean, an actual qualifying time in. Track's clear. Push, push, push. All right, Caleb, we've got two laps. Let's get this done. Let's get it done. Yeah, so if anybody watching has any racing experience, Feel free to uh, send your 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 own tips and tricks on what I can do better, whether it be in a certain corner, under braking, under throttle, whichever. As you're watching me go, because again, I am not ever going to claim that I am a professional sim racer. I do this for fun. I probably have I don't know hour and a half of, of practice under my belt at this track, and that's it. Um, definitely. Oh shoot! Yeah, there's a wall there. Uh, my I rating is, is is getting better. We're no longer in the 600s. We're still in the three digits. Trying to get in the thousands. Still in repair mode. We've had a really bad I rating for a while. Down in the down low, real bad. And uh, so now I'm trying to just get a good string of or streak of races and good finishes and get some I rating under our belt. And then hopefully get back up to A class eventually. Not that it really matters, but in case they release a car and they're like, hey, this car is only for A class, I'll be able to actually drive it. All right, this will be technically our first time lap, but we're not gonna have enough time to finish it. So this is this, this can be a practice. Down to fourth gear here, missed the apex. Bump, there it is. All right, full throw down the straightaway. And breaking at the 400, down the second gear. Apex, run wide. Back on the braking, down the second gear again. Apex to the wall, to the other wall. Breaking at the at the kink. Back on the throttle slowly to the wall again. Other wall, wall to wall, man. That's how we do it here. Wall. Oh, I was about to spin out too. <laughs> I was about to spin out. Uh, they wouldn't have kicked me out. So, we will be the number 27 car. And next like we'll be starting in 26th. We have about a minute and a half until the race actually starts. I'm going to try the track map one more time because I just want to have it. Yeah, not going to work. All right, whatever. Whatever, man. Whatever. 
we got enough information. If you're new to watching iRacing and iRacing streams, on the bottom left, you got some fuel information, some session information. You'll see uh, how many laps we've done, how many laps we have uh, left on fuel, different things like that. On the right, you got the whole leaderboard. Obviously, my name right there in Thigpen and my uh, position, my car type. Um, it's going to show you, looks like this is all going to be GTE. So there's no GT3 cars in this race, so uh, we won't have to worry about racing against other classes. Um, it'll show you our position gained and my I rating, um, how long our stint is, which is what ST means. Uh, it's going to show us the pit, which means how long we took in the pit. Uh, oh, no, that's how many times we've pitted. And in lane is how much time we spent in pit lane. LC will be last completed. So hopefully we have a good, a good race. I'm... Um, it's kind of hit or miss, you know what I mean? Sometimes you make it, sometimes you don't. My goal was to finish and not get any caught up in any wrecks or anything like that. So let's go ahead and grid before it's too late. Do, 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 do. Good luck, guys. Please Thank keep you. it clean, uh, especially during the first lap. I love hearing that's that's the classic welcome to iRacing right there. Let's keep it clean, especially in the first corner. You can't win it in the first corner. It's probably the most spoken words on iRacing servers. But yes, I hope they do keep it clean because that would be good for me. The track temp is 74 Fahrenheit. The air temp is 70 sassy. Fahrenheit. Make sassy pants. Don't you love it when they say that? It makes you feel so much more secure it makes you feel so much more confident that you're actually gonna survive turn one but actually it does the opposite so we'll see hopefully we have a good race you never know maybe we have one of those good races out of 100 yep that's how you know there's gonna be a crash in turn one so we're gonna lay back <laughs> we need to catch car number 22 all right guys we're gonna have i think it's gonna be a 40 minute race get ready Oh, they, I thought I saw a car stopped already. Oh, he is blinking bad. All right, buddy. I want to get that figured out. All right, so right here, this is where it, where it all happens. There's not anywhere to go. So we might make it. I think he might have done us a favor there by telling everybody to race clean. Maybe it actually made a difference this time. I'm going to stay away from his orange car, though, because he is unpredictable. Turn three is a death here. Yep, yeah, here he comes. Let's see. I think we might all make it. Yep, yellow, yellow flag. flag. Oh, okay, yep, there's parking, three. parking park lot in turn Turner. three. Jesus! Alright, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Oh my god, did you see that? Look in the mirror! You were right, Sassy, Please. Sassy Please. called it. Sassy called it. Freebies, free spot. Right, let's take it easy now. Okay, they're still wrecking. Ah, uh, come on, unbelievable. What's this guy's name? This dude is in the hover car. Uh, Juan, your car is uh, flashing everywhere. That's the number 26. 26. In case he doesn't speak English. Another stop car. Okay, okay, what are you doing? Okay, 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Freaking. I'm on, a, I'm on the slopes out here, man. I feel like I'm skiing through all these red cars, swerving like a mug. Wow. I can't believe we made through that. That was unexpected. All right. Well, we survived lap one. So that's the first milestone. Down to fourth gear. This is pretty. Bring to the curb. Curb to curb, wall to wall. Here's the bump. All right, let's go. Mind the bump. All right, we are clear about three seconds back. Got a Ford GT up ahead of us. I think ahead of him is a Porsche. Yep, Porsche. Oh, four went wide. Whew. All right, let's just settle in here and uh, get a good pace going. Let's 
Sorry I can't read the notifications, but thank you for the follow or subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arrow Royal Family. Nice save out of 4 GT. I pretty strongly believe that people don't get enough credit for saving the cars. People always want to yell at them for wrecking, but you don't want to give them credit for when they don't wreck, which happens a lot more often. All right, those guys behind me are catching 11 up. 11 minutes to repair the fucking car. Fuck. Yep, he's pissed. Okay, Caleb, there's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. Uh, it's not going to work too well for your 4 GT. All over dang place. <laughs> it's like getting credit for not peeing in your pants. Okay, you make a good point there. I mean, I think we should get credit for that too. I don't pee in my pants every day, so I think I'm a hero. I'm saving other people a lot of embarrassment. Can you imagine having to work with somebody who pees in their pants every day? Oh, on the wall from the Ford. <laughs> I mean, good job, I suppose. I got you, I got you. This is where I always struggle, right in this turn. I always lock it up. But 40 more minutes of this to go, man. It's gonna be. It's only the first two laps or so, so it's got a long way to go here. We still gotta do a pit stop and everything. Uh oh, Porsche did something. I think he spun, spun the tires. Porsche is gonna take advantage of that. Yeah, Porsche is locking him up pretty badly. You can see the smoke coming off of his tires. Oh, that that's gonna put a dent in the wall. Ferrari behind us, a little front end damage. Now we have some left side damage. That's always great. Don't you touch me though. Yeah, I just misjudged that turn. That happens very easily. Again, that you you want to get as close to it as possible. Make a small mistake and you'll be in the, in the wall. That Ferrari is definitely faster than me behind me, so I'm not going to race him too hard. We'll pick up the spot back maybe later. Okay, okay, okay. All right, he wants it, he wants it. Go ahead, take it. Right side. Take it, take it. Clear right. Jonas was having him in. Come on, push like a bastard. We'll get this guy. Yeah, we'll get it back. Don't worry. You welcome, Raphael. All right, what are we in? Uh, I am smashing that gear, ain't I? And didn't I tell you I was gonna get it back? <laughs> so I'm glad I let him buy because he would he would have did the same thing to me and probably spun me out. What up, Geo? Welcome back, bro. I'm waiting for you to get to this level, man. Let me do some of this right here. All right, car behind us is left down. Super bumpy track, man. Super bumpy. The gap in front has increased to 2.5. Copy. I know I'm a little quiet, but I gotta concentrate because 
So this track is, is still pretty challenging to me. Even like just racing the track, like I'm not racing anybody. It's just me and the surface. And it's so many ways to make mistakes. So many places to overdrive the car. And uh, you really gotta be sensitive and pay attention to what the car is giving you and what it's not. And it's early too, still got over 30 minutes to go. So, I think a lot of other people will eventually crash or wreck and so I'm not really super concerned about what my position is right now, which I don't even know what it is, we're in 15. Turn 8, I don't know where that is. So close to that freaking wall. I thought I was gonna hit it. I thought we were gonna punt that wall. Ay, ay, ay. Got uh, some competition right behind us. He's a little bit faster than us. Doing a pretty good job not locking it up in turn one. Sun is going down or getting some clouds. This is why you can't use shadows as brake references. <laughs> Alright, sounds like up. Hold your nerve, just keep it smooth, no mistakes. He is right on our tail. And he hit me. <laughs> Car left. Clear left. Come on, keep pushing. V15, come on, stop it, it's a shit. Try bloody harder. Take it, man. Go right. On the guy in front. The gap is 0.6. Car right. Clear right. Yeah, I didn't get any uh, incident points for that uh, that little bump to the bumper from the BMW. Yeah, they're pretty quick. I don't know how fast I'm going. I need to turn my, my uh, session best lap on. But he wants it though. He's gonna, he's gonna go for it eventually. Oh, okay, it's all right. <laughs> just, we just touched it. Come on, Caleb. Uh, there's a reason why he's back here. That guy has no trunk on that BMW ahead of us. That's why you gotta be careful, man. When you're around some of these cars that are back here, like you. I mean, they might be faster at the moment, but I just let them by because there's a reason why they're back here and that they have a wreck race car. So they probably wreck you too. But we'll get back up there. We're about two seconds off my own pace. Best lap so far has been 128. 16th place.
easy, easy, easy. All right. Yeah, what happened last time? I just, I don't know if I break too late. I break at a weird angle. What happened? But I just kind of slid around under braking and just barely bumped the tire bear barrier. So shouldn't hurt us at all. Just a little bit of a left rear quarter panel damage. But let's get our head in the game here. We're running pretty slow laps. We need to speed up. We need to be going faster than this. So I know I can. Let's be smooth here. Let's get that delta in the green here. Man, the leader is gone. You guys can't see the track map, but he is... <laughs> He's fast. Got a Porsche behind us now. You've just done a 128.44. That's good consistency, keep it up. Slow in, fast out, keep the inside line covered. Wow, look at that guy. <laughs> His car is messed up. Come on, mate, defend your position. Oh, come on. Oof, a little oh. bit hot through that turn. Oh, my God. I don't know why. We slid into that. I think I only got two X, but that's not what bothers me. The fact that we hit it in, at all <laughs> makes me upset. We haven't been close to hitting that wall all day. Well, we lost all the the spots that we gained from uh, all those people who wrecked <laughs> in that uh, parking lot in the first lap. The car stopped up here. That's a new free spot for us. Incident in turn three. Such an awkward set of corners right there. Like it's Bandini. The gap in front is increasing. 
car is just bouncing. I can't imagine being in this car in real life going 135 miles an hour. Down here in the car is just bouncing everywhere. The only time I feel like I'm fully in control is when I'm driving in a straight line. Most of the time, I feel like I'm just gonna face plant into one of these concrete walls. But it's fun. <laughs> I enjoy it. I'm actually having fun. I don't know if it looks like it, but I am. I know IndyCar races here, and I, I tried racing the IndyCar at this track on iRacing, and I couldn't handle it. I think I, I eventually was able to actually turn a few laps without hitting anything, but it is, yeah, those things are really fast. But those things have a lot of downforce, too, so some of these turns you see me braking at or lifting off the gas at, they just go straight, you know, pedal to the floor all the way through. Like, this whole That's section right here, full fuel. throttle. Obviously, no matter what car you're in, you have to brake here. Uh, Andrew, what's up, man? Good to see you. Probably sometime next week. Don't have an exact date yet. Uh, this car does not like these curves. A lot of these curves are really high. Like they're not flat curves. Like at some tracks, they're like a really high actual curb, and you don't want to hit them because the car really gets upset. And we're all by ourselves. I don't know where everybody else is behind us, anyways. As you can see, I definitely have some work to do. My pace is nowhere near what those guys are ahead of me. And we will. Most likely eventually go a lap down. The gap in front has increased to 7.9. Oh, come on, come on. Ah, that we hit that hard. We hit that hard. <laughs> that was not tire wall either. Wheel damage. Oh, what does that even mean? I didn't know that was possible. Dang, I got to pit for repairs. Come on, Jacob. Don't lose you on. The car feels fine. <laughs> yeah, driving the Indy cars is a whole nother thing. I mean, we if we pit now, we can make it on fuel to the end. But the, 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 what sucks is I actually have to take uh, get uh, damage fixed. Uh, it's required. Like I can't. I'm gonna get disqualified if I don't fix it. Apparently it's really bad. But we'll have to see. And if it's wheel damage, I don't know that you can fix that. We got to go ahead and take it to the pits and fix it. Was doing all right as far as keeping it clean. And I honestly don't feel a major difference in the steering or in the handling of the car. We are a little bit slower than. I should be, so it might have something to do with our damage. So we should be going at least two seconds faster than this. Okay, Caleb, we're at the halfway point. We think about 60 minutes of fuel remaining. Yeah, I might feel a little unstable on the fat high speed turns. We go pit entry right here. 40 miles an hour. Look out for the pit speed limit. Box in 1150 feet. Hey, no tires. Well, we got wheel damage, but I don't want tires. <laughs> and we're only going to go about Box in four five, gallons of fuel. Four, three, two, one. Box now. Right, how bad is it? Ooh, wow, is it that bad? Did we hit it that bad? 
Ouch, we have 11 minutes of the fire. Behind is pitting. And one minute of optional. So race won't be over, we're gonna be a lot of laps down. So that sucks. Yeah, I can do that, Mr. Music for all. I've been kind of turning it off and back on. Some of the information is on the right, but the right side is more of a leaderboard, so it's not gonna tell you like exactly what car is ahead of me and behind me. So I kind of turned it off to reduce some of the clutter and back on, but thanks for letting me know. I'll keep it up more often. Yeah, it does. It's helpful, but it's the relative is really the thing that's most, I guess, uh, relative. <laughs> I guess is even the right word uh, for the moment. So let's go take a look and see what happened to us and see what damage they're calling us in for. They said we had to pit. I didn't have a choice. So already had that already had that left side damage from earlier. So I, it's probably because we hit the left side multiple times pretty hard. You can already see you got a big dent right there. I think it sounds amazing, doesn't it? Yeah, I was doing pretty good. The thing is, it's just it only takes a small mistake. And the wall is right there. That's 20 minutes to go. 20 minutes. And from this view, it looks so easy. Uh, is this it right here? No. Bam! There it was. Honestly, it looked worse from in the car than it did in this game. Huh. Oh, none of these views are really doing it for me. Like, I want to see me hit the wall. <laughs> They're all like hiding. It's like a, a blind spot for the camera. There it is. Bam. Rewind it. Welcome to Road. Absolutely. Yeah, man. Well, me and you did that, uh, or were practicing for that Mazda race yesterday. It was actually reminded me how much fun road racing is and can be. Right here. Huh. But I want to know what suspension damage that they're talking about we have. Oh, that tire looks fine to me on the left side. But I mean, I guess you really wouldn't be able to see it. And I could have pit it like right there, but they told me. They didn't tell me until I was like at the start finish line. But hopefully they get it fixed. Uh, again, we have a while. Uh, it said 11 minutes of repairs, so we'll be in the pits for a minute. And I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna quit Bandini here. In front is I will actually get back out there and at least finish the race. Uh, right now we're in 19th place. Um, I think the rest of the cars are out of the race. The people who are behind me. So I think this is the worst is gonna get. We'll have to. We'll have to see. Um, but I wanna go to the beginning of the race where all those where that parking lot happened. See what actually happened. Let's switch to somebody else's car. Let's see. Let's watch the Ferrari. Go to a up here. All right. Let's see, this is why I didn't want to qualify. This right here is exactly why I didn't want to qualify. So where did he start at? All right. Here we go. Going into the start finish line. I'm watching the Porsche. 
which sounds amazing. So this guy, he's not being stupid. He's being pretty smart. Oh, there it is. Oh, did nothing wrong. Did absolutely nothing wrong. That's how it happens right there. It, he, he he did literally nothing wrong. He came in here. You can see over here. Uh, these there's already cars that spun out. We'll go see and find out why they spun out. But there's already people spun out. They're blocking the track. There's not a lot of space when exiting this corner, especially you go through there full speed. And he's on the brakes. He's actually not gonna hit anybody. He's doing a really good job of avoiding this whole thing. And he's actually not gonna hit anybody, even though they're slowing down more than usual. But then he gets hit from behind by somebody. Last minute, this. There it is, this guy. Spun him around. And we got a parking lot up here. And I'm just like, man, this happens almost every race, every session. There I am, way back there, just watching it happen. And like, the whole track right now is completely blocked. <laughs> the whole track is completely blocked right now. What do you do? I want to see what, I want to see what brought that out. Let's go f watch this Porsche over here. 15 minutes remaining, 15 minutes to go. Roger, 15 minutes to go. All right, let's see. He probably got hit from behind. My guess. Yep. So he did nothing wrong either. He did nothing wrong either. Net code. It kind of looked like it, didn't it? Yeah, so first of all, this is a stupid move in the first place. There's a car on the outside. You're going into a super tight, like, turn. You gotta, yeah, this, this purple car, this is, I mean, even if it's net code, that's stupid. So, yeah, technically on my screen, he didn't touch him, but iRacing net codes and I guess iRacing thinks that they touched. Because they probably could have made it through this whole thing without anything going on. And it spun him around. That spins him in front of everybody. Right in front of the racing line. Ferrari has nowhere to go. Neither of them have anywhere to go. The Porsche on the outside. Tried to avoid it. The other Porsche just got stuck behind a Ferrari. Now we got a half of a track road blocked. Everybody else is a domino effect. Trying to get through it. A lot of people stopped and, and made it. So it's... Definitely a situation you don't want to be in, but this happens like every freaking race, and this is why I don't qualify. Because even if you go through and do all the right things, you could do everything professionally. You can be, you could have the the best sim racer in the world come through here, and uh, and try to avoid a wreck like this, and they can still get caught. Through. Yeah, let's watch it from like the cinematic view. Not that it's gonna make a difference. What's going on outside? Cars and stuff. <laughs> Sound like I'm at a racetrack out here. Bam, bam, bam. And everybody else going through there. Like, that right there was stupid. First of all, he's the one that caused the wreck. The purple number 10 Ferrari. But look how look what he does after the wreck is over. Alright, so he finishes off the porch. I don't know why he's still in the throttle. <laughs> He must be raging right now. He might just be so pissed that he's just like smashing the throttle like, Ugh! you know what I mean? You ever seen anybody do that? They're just smashing the throttle, just pissed off. And then he finally whips into reverse. Here he goes, back in reverse and right back in front of everybody. Let me see if I can get on his car. That's not him. That's not. Here is him. Here it is. Yeah, so he just whips in the reverse right back in front of everybody else. This guy. And the BMW 21 wasn't going to hit nobody. He was going to actually make it. He was going to probably barely skim through there. But because this guy decided to re rewind, <laughs> hit the reverse, he takes out basically two more cars at least. And then he's so pissed off, he just forwards right into the 4GT. He's probably going to hit these guys too again. 
Yep. Ramps off of the, the bumper of the Porsche. Yeah, he's like, I can still win this. I can still win this. Help me, help me up, Porsche. <laughs> I can still win this. <laughs> oh my God, what are you thinking? He's still, I think they're just pissing each other because they're both just throttle four, basically a tug of war match right here, just pushing each other. Porsche is pushing them. <laughs> oh man. The things that happen on iRacing. Did I, was I, I think I'd already made it through by now. This is after the fact, by the way. And he takes out another one. This dude right here needs to be kicked. <laughs> How much would I bet he's going to wreck this guy? He has suspension damage. You can see that. I'm just going to watch him now. We, we ain't got nothing to do. We got to wait for my, my car to be repaired. I'll try to do better next time. Might be done almost, by the way. In about eight minutes. I just want to see if he's gonna wreck anybody else. He might not. Yeah, he's good. Uh oh. It froze. Uh oh. Okay, I racing froze. That doesn't happen very often. Not for me. Uh, I'm about to find out here in a second. It's, if iRacing doesn't quit on me, I'm going to jump back in the car and see how much longer we got to fix our damage. For us, our damage was self-inflicted. We just hit the wall a little hard coming out of one of the last turns and it apparently have some wheel suspension or something damaged. Okay, yep, iRacing crashed. Yep. Uh, why is that up? Okay. So I'll open it back up again. That's the thing. Wait, is it over? No, there's 10 more minutes left in that race. And now it thinks that I'm joined in the session. Yes, I have a lot of windows open. I'm a streamer, that's what happens. But while we wait. Interesting. Trying to refresh the page. So I can rejoin. There it is. So, um, we're definitely not going to get a great finish at this race because we, you know, um, we have to pit and make 11 minutes of damage, but I feel like I'm getting better. I'm definitely going to keep doing this race throughout the week. Uh, I might stream it again tomorrow, maybe, um, but we do have a NASCAR race planned for tomorrow at Homestead, which is going to be the championship race, or I should say the final race of the season for NASCAR. And I'm um, hoping to have a good, good race there. I've already done a couple races, honestly, at Homestead. It hasn't gone, hasn't gone so well. It hasn't gone so well. Not because of me. Not because of me. Not, not my fault. Hey, when it's my fault, I'll fess up to it. But this is what they would wasn't my fault. <laughs> you know how that eye racing happens to me. Appreciate it, Crack Court. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thanks for the love, man. Hope to see you again if you're heading out. But, yeah, NASCAR tomorrow. Friday, we may do Formula 1. Uh, or maybe we'll do this race again. Because I'm not happy with how this is going to finish. Even if we get back on the track and, and finish the last eight minutes or, or, or not. Um, I want to get out there and actually get a good, decent finish. And uh, we may do a second. A take two of this race. As soon as our racing gets started. So I'm supposed to get a new... Uh, What's it called? Um, memory stick, I guess is what you call it, or, or RAM. I'm supposed to get some new RAM today for my PC. Uh, upgrading from 16 gigabytes of RAM to 32. So wish me luck on installing that all by myself. I've never like done a physical hardware upgrade to my computer, so it's my first time trying that out. And I hope that I don't break anything and everything works fine tomorrow. But it's supposed to come today. Supposed to come today. Via Amazon Prime. All right, we're back in this thing. Let's see, race. All right, I think it's all fixed. It better be. We've been gone for a while. Let's go ahead and kill the music. Kill the music. Oh, that's the wrong track. Here it is. And back on track mode. Let's finish this thing. Finish strong. I 
six minutes to go. Oh, watch out for that guy. There's traffic behind. Take care. Disengage limiter. Blue flag. Left side. Hold your line. Clear left. Don't worry, I will let you by. Blue flag. I'm not racing you. Go ahead. Car right. Clear right. These guys, last six minutes of the race, I don't want to break up a heated battle. Alright, so we are 20th. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's what it looks like right now. I don't know how far the next, how many laps ahead the next car is. Um, they fixed most of the damage. Still a bit of a crinkle in my hood. That shouldn't be there. A crisp crinkle. There's an incident in turn one. Uh oh. There's an incident in turn two. Uh oh. <laughs> Watch out for that. We're coming up on that right now. Five minutes to go, five minutes left. Keep it five minutes to go, let's keep it clean. Basically, whenever it gets to like this, where you're just kind of like one of the last cars, you just really use the rest of the race as a preparation for the next. Kind of gives you a reason to drive. I'm like, all right, well. My race may be over, I'm not gonna really win. Oh, definitely not gonna win. I'm not gonna really get a great finishing position either, but what I can do is kind of just practice and get ready for the next race. And that's basically what I'm gonna do now. Somehow we're already a minute and 42. I'm oh, sorry, not a minute. Probably a minute, is that a minute? A second, second, 1.42 seconds. Actually, I'll come up on two seconds now, faster than our fastest lap in the session. Actually, you know what? I think that since we left the session completely, yeah, I think it uh, reset what our fastest session lap was. So that's not accurate. I was like, dang, we came out the gate fast. That lap time was 128.89. Gonna be good on fuel. Come on, hold it together, I love it whenever you come off the corner and you're right next to the wall and you don't hit it. I love that. Like, that's one of my favorite things about this track, is being so close to the wall and not hitting it. I hate hitting it, but whenever you make a hot lap and you're right right next to it, you're like, oh yeah, you have like this sense, sense of, not, not, a, not completion, but I don't know, you just feel good about yourself. The tough thing is doing it consistently. Saved it. Joshua, uh, am I into getting drifting sims? Uh, I would not be against it. I love drifting. Is there any good ones out there? I'm just not aware of any uh, drifting simulators. I think I heard of one, but I don't know if it was really a simulator. So far, my favorite game to drift in is uh, Forza Horizon. And then, uh, 
I guess, rallycross racing. Or, uh, not dirt rallycross. Which is not really drifting. It is, but it's not. It's not the same. Like, the point is not to drift. The point is not to die. But, whew. And then I think, uh, like, dirt racing as well. On iRacing, like, it's kind of, like, drifting, but it's not really the same. So, um, yes, to answer your question, I'm interested in drifting. I just don't have any, or know of any good games to do it. Yeah, be careful. Try to put a little bit more throttle in there. Take it easy through here. We'll have a good exit. Get a lot of traction on those back tires. car gets really light coming around that last turn because you really want to go through it real fast you can't go like full full throttle depending on your setup P18. oh we gained like two spots i'm not sure when that happened <laughs> see what happens when you finish you beat all the other putters you think p6 has gone off uh -oh. in turn three yellow flag caution I think he's in sixth place. Yeah, he is. I'll keep the relative up for a bit. I'm about to fix the uh, leaderboard they have on the right because I want to show, uh, you know, relevant information, not just a leaderboard. But I, I believe I can set it up to show that. I just need to change it. So I'll get that fixed for later. I think the Thrustmaster T150 is a great wheel. That's what I use. Uh, so obviously, yeah, I'll say it's good. But if I hate it, I would say that too. But I think it's good. Uh, G29 is most likely going to be better. I don't have one, but it's more expensive. So it better be better. Like, it's like, what, two, three times more expensive than the T150? So, I mean, if you got the money to put down on something like that, then sure. But I don't have the money to put down on G29. So I bought this wheel, which is force feedback. Which is uh, definitely something you want to have when I racing. Like I recommend it. If you, if you can't get a wheel that doesn't have force feedback, don't get a wheel. That is what I would say to you. But I like the wheel. Uh, the pedal set is, is good too. You know, it doesn't have a shifter. It has the paddle shifters, but it doesn't have any shifters. Anything like that comes with it. I don't know what the G29 has. But I like it. I think it's a great first wheel. I and mean, this is my first wheel I've ever had. I, I believe this will be our final lap. White flag is out. So nobody's around us. We just got to finish. Without wrecking. Ooh, two wheels, baby. Held on to it, though. Reich is now in the lead. Finish strong, baby. Finish strong. Coming down the home stretch. Gonna finish here in, I don't know what position because I can't look, so I'm driving. That looks like 18th here at Bell Isle in the MZ Sport Car Championship. Okay, that's the end. Good finish, mate. Well done. Uh, I wouldn't say good finish. We'll try better. We'll try again next time. Better schedule some testing. We definitely need some, some work done. So, you know, we finished the race. We were out for about 15 minutes, sadly, because of damage, but, you know, it happens. You just uh, pick yourself up and go racing again later. Uh, looks like we did gain six IR. <laughs> so by staying out, I did end up going positive in the I rating. I would have been negative about seven or ten I rating if I would have uh, if I would have quit at uh, when we had to bring it into pit. Uh, we also gained two spots by just coming out and, and turning in a few more laps. So um, I definitely, whenever you get in the racing or I racing, is like finish the race, man. Like um, I know sometimes I'll just like leave because it's just no point in me staying because you know 
I don't want, like, especially in NASCAR, because you're like there for like four hours and you don't want to just be a back marker for four hours. Um, but, but yeah, yeah, you just, you gotta finish strong, man. Finish the race, make it happen. Same in real life. But let me go through the comments here just a little bit before we leave. And uh, again, this will be the end. Well, I'm not going to do another race because the next race is not for another <clears throat> hour. So um, I can't stick around and wait an hour for the next race to start. But I will uh, watch some of these laps. While I go through the chat. Our fast lap was the third lap, uh, 128.163. Uh, we could definitely go faster than that. I, I really believe I can go faster than that. Absolutely. Where's my car? Why are we in the pits? Uh, track temp, let's see. Track temp is... Uh, mostly cloudy, all right, here it is. 76. Oh, I see what you're saying. I didn't realize, like, oh, yeah, because I didn't save the replay, so I guess it didn't go back that far. Huh, interesting. Yeah, all right, cool. Yes, sir, BMW. All right, so what did you say, Joshua? I couldn't read it. It was too much to read while I was driving. Uh, got time about posting beam. All right, I set the course, though. Drift 19 is coming out this year. We'll see about that, if it's good or not. Diane, what's up, man? Get my ears pierced. I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't know. It probably won't happen anytime soon. I thought about doing it a while back, but I don't think I'm going to do it. You should get yours. Do I drive with assist? No, I don't drive with any assist. So somebody modded a Seth Corza for uh, drifting. Sounds like fun. Yeah, right now the only game I really drift in is Forza Horizon, and I, and I use a controller for that. I don't even use my wheel, but I would love to do like an actual game where I do like uh, like some drifting. Like I think it'd be a lot of fun. I don't know what I would use for a handbrake, but I think that'd be a lot of fun. I would really enjoy that. Like you know, on Forza Horizon, I, I enjoy the heck out of doing like the setups for drift and all that kind of stuff. Like it's really fun. It's really really fun. So. Um, I think Drift Simulator is something we need. Like, we need a Drift Simulator. In racing, we have GT, we have all the other simulator type races, NASCAR, all that, uh, open wheel. But we don't really have a drifting simulator. Now, we have Dirt Rally, stuff like that, which um, I enjoy a lot too, where it's kind of drifty. You're on the edge of control, which is why I enjoy, like, Drift, which I think it's 2.0, whatever it's called. I enjoy that game a whole lot, because it's like you're driving right on the edge, you're just like swinging a wheel. You know, trying to stay off of a tree or off the side of a mountain. Yeah, man, anything racing in real life is money. That's why I really don't trip too much about what I pay for iRacing because basically I'm paying to play the simulator for a whole lot cheaper than I would pay uh, to race a car in real life. Even though I would love to do all this stuff in real life, I would love to drive a BMW in real life around Detroit or uh, a full one car or a NASCAR. But you know, to do that, it would cost you like thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars um, to get into that kind of thing in real life. Even though I'm still gonna probably eventually get into like doing one of those racing schools or something like that just for fun. Um, but getting into iRacing, if you can't afford to get into real racing is definitely a good alternative. Not just iRacing, but you know, a racing simulator like a Celta Corsa or something like that. Um, drifting, it sounds like a lot of fun. I um, I love road racing, love ro oval racing, 
Um, I've actually started to like dirt racing a lot more. I've started to like uh, dirt rally racing. And I just, I'm just a, a, a racing fan, really. Um, I just enjoy a lot of different forms of racing. And I like, I even more like being behind a wheel in multiple forms of racing and really, te and you know, pushing my, my skills. And so when it comes to road racing, I definitely have a lot of work to do. Um, I would love to get better at road racing because when it comes to NASCAR, I'm usually like a top five kind of guy, you know what I mean? Um, but when it comes to racing uh in road racing i'm like a back marker kind of guy <laughs> you know what i mean um like i might not wreck but i'm not gonna be really fast and competitive unless you put me against a bunch of people who are like around my skill range so like in this race today those guys were way faster than us um but there's been races that i've done where i've been ra I've been able to race with people who are a bit closer to my skill level and had some really good racing and it was a lot of fun so hopefully i can get some of that going uh this week it's like one of my brake lights are out VRS coaching probably would work. It's just really hard for me to convince myself to pay <laughs> for a VRS coach. Um, I have VRS. I use their setups. I watch their videos on uh, you know how to drive the tracks. Like I watched their video on this track um, before we streamed today, um, before I started racing this week. And I do the same thing on the NASCAR side. So I watch other videos and stuff like that. And I think maybe VRS coaching could help me. They could probably really pinpoint what it is exactly that I'm struggling with. Um, one of the things that I could be struggling with, Lopez is a beast coach. I'm going to keep that in mind. Thank you for that. I'm going to keep that in mind for sure. Um, but one of the things I think I, I struggle with is, is really focusing on one thing. So like if you follow me and in, in my channel, you see the racing that I do one week, I'm doing NASCAR and then I'm doing road racing or I'm doing both in the same day. So like I, I don't just do one series. I don't just focus on one. When I first started iRacing, I was doing NASCAR and like only NASCAR. So I was focusing on that. I got decent at that. Not to say I'm, I'm great. Um, I've won some races, but you know, people win races eventually on iRacing. Uh, it depends on who you're racing it in certain circumstances. Uh, but I feel like I've, I've become a decent NASCAR driver. With, a, with like, if you put me, even in fixed series, I feel like I'm a decent NASCAR driver. When it comes to road, uh, even if we all had the same setups, I feel like I still would be just a little bit off the pace, maybe by a second, maybe a half second to a second off the pace. Um, and so finding out where I am losing time the most uh, would probably be a big help. Um, and I think, I really don't know where it is, to be honest. Like, I could probably take a guess, but I think it's just my cornering, you know what I mean? All right, so I can think that, I guess that's where we start. Yeah, so we, we couldn't watch it from the very beginning because, um, like you said, I, we actually let the session and came back. But that's a sexy car, though, right? We might not have won, but that's a sexy car. Juan E. Lopez. Seven to eight thousand I rating, Jesus. Yeah, I might have to try that. Like for real, I might have to try that because I want to be competitive. I do. I want to be competitive in road series. Um, it's a lot of fun. The, the cars are fun to drive. They sound amazing. They look great. Um, and and as I racing is is upgrading the sim and making it better, like it's gonna be more and more fun. So, anyways, I'll look into that. I'll look into that. I don't know if I'm going to do it anytime soon. Right now, I'm more focused on flight training <laughs> um, than getting great at a racing simulator. Um, but I definitely, it would be, be nice to be able to win a race out here. Um, but anyways, uh, we're going to call it there. And um, yeah, just, you know, hopefully see you guys next time. I hope to do, uh, for sure tomorrow we do NASCAR, uh, the NIS race, final one of the season. And if I get time before that race, and if uh, my buddy is free, we'll do a, ra a drive together and um, uh, at the same track, most likely in the same car. But other than that, all good. So thank you, Crack Core. Thank you, uh, Joshua Fisher. My report, thank you very much, man, for coming by. Uh, if you guys are interested in the flight simulation stuff, we won't be doing any flight simulation this week. Uh, come back like next week. I don't know when exactly, but sometime next week, I'll probably be doing some more. Uh, flight simulator stuff but this week is all about racing so anyways guys until next time thank you so much for being amazing remember you got three choices as always give up give in give it all you got today we gave it all, gave it all we got and we finished two positions higher than we should have so i think i froze wow did i freeze huh anyways well uh okay we're back <laughs> peace love and god bless you i'll see you guys next time next video almost at 10k people almost at 10,000 subscribers on, on uh on youtube super excited and i got some special stuff planned that hopefully works out when we get there so show love thank you guys so much i'm out <laughs>